Have you ever wondered how your car's fuel gauge knows how much fuel is in the tank? When you turn the ignition key, it activates the car's electrical system, powered by the battery. This sends power to various components, including the fuel sender unit in the gas tank and the fuel gauge on the dashboard. The sender unit is the main device responsible for measuring the fuel level. The dashboard gauge adjusts the position of the needle to indicate the fuel level, ranging from empty to full, depending on the current flow. The float is a small, buoyant object, typically made of lightweight materials such as plastic or foam. Its job is to sit on the surface of the fuel in your tank, rising and falling with the fuel level. The bimetallic strip and heating coil are essential components located within the fuel gauge. The bimetallic strip, made of two metals with different expansion rates, is highly sensitive to temperature changes and bends when heated. Surrounding the strip is a heating coil that generates heat based on the electrical current flowing through it. The amount of heat produced depends on the current, which varies with the fuel level. Attached to the bimetallic strip is the needle indicator mounted on a pivot. As the strip bends in response to heat, it moves the needle, which displays the fuel level on the gauge. Inside the sender unit, there is a resistor and a slide contact. The slide contact is connected to the float arm, which moves up and down with the fuel level in the tank. As the float travels, its movement causes the slide contact to move along the resistor, varying the resistance. This change in resistance alters the current flowing through the circuit. When the fuel level decreases, the float drops, causing the slide contact in the sender unit to move along the resistor, increasing the resistance. As a result, less current flows through the bimetal wire coil, reducing the heat generated. The cooling effect causes the bimetallic hairpin to contract and bend, pulling the attached needle towards the empty side of the gauge. Most fuel gauges are designed to show empty when there's still some amount of fuel left in the tank. When the tank is full, the float rises, decreasing the resistance in the circuit. This allows more current to flow. The increased current heats a bimetallic hairpin inside the fuel gauge, causing it to bend. As a result, the indicator moves to the full level. 